fucking went <laughs> when you said uh when you said boss in the in the <laughs> fucking um, chat. <laughs> like my immediately my immediate like thought process was uh uh the green mile. Whoa. Of the goal line, boss. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's the boy Boss Geek, you know what I'm saying? The Majin Wonder, if you will, you know what I'm saying? AKA Majin Bo, AKA Bo Seafish, AKA Bo Bo, whatever you want to call me. And I have with us today, you should have known by now, but as you know, I got you on the introduction. Ah, oh, the nigga who perfected the sexy jutsu. Mocha Mocha Senpai himself. Azazus. Sadden. You know, the intro is getting clean, you know. And the other host we have. Mm, 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 Mr. Drumline himself. Name an instrument that he can't play. I'll wait. You have a better chance of my dad coming back from the gas station. Mr. Chaosity. Ugh. What's good, What's good, y'all? How y'all been, bro? Chilling, working. I feel you. Living. So what? What I want to do, bro? Moving forward, I'm starting every podcast with something I like to call high low, where we uh -huh. just take a high moment of the week. It don't have to be a week. It could be a couple of days or whatever. The best thing that happened, but also the worst thing that happened. You know, if you don't have any a low moment, you don't have to say a low moment, right? Facts. So, so if you want me to go first, my high was even though um life has been lifing and I wasn't able to be into the like in the gym like I wanted to, um I tweaked my shoulder doing um dumbbell flies and I was just taking time to rest, bro. I went back to the gym today moving weight like I've never moved before. I felt I felt like it was much needed. So I say that to say this like sometimes, bro, no matter how crazy life is, sometimes you need to take a second, a week. To just breathe and stop what you're doing to realize, hey, everything else will pass, bro. This is just a All moment. Right. Oh, right, uh, right. the lowest moment for me from the last podcast. Oh, uh, my tire is going flat, like two of them. My driver tire and my back passenger. And everybody know if you drive a Dodge, bro, them bitches are the leads. If you find a good tire, 160 a piece. But I got street tires. So yeah. they were about 300 a tire. Yep. My uh, yeah. my Firestones for all four, I think, was 1,200. Two. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> I feel that. Yes. You got any uh, enemies out there? I don't know. That anybody don't want to pop two of your tires? Anybody right. don't want anybody don't want to see me win is the enemy, I guess. You know. Yikes. Zayce, you got any? Oh man, uh, lowest. I feel like the low. Let's start with distribution. A damn song. Ready to rumble supposed to been delivered to stores by now a week ago. Uh, it got delayed, but it's supposed it, it should be ready this week. Uh. Second lowest, I feel like uh talked to my credit card company today and they pretty much told me that my uh APR, my rates is gonna stay the same until I uh pay off that dang card. So mm. you know, I'm somebody like, that's listening. Go ahead, go ahead. I was gonna say I'm guessing that you got a stupid high APR. And heck yeah, bro, because I didn't understand credit cards when I got this damn thing and I waited too long to pay it off. So <laughs> Yeah, anybody that's listening, right? Do not get credit cards unless you can already afford the money to begin with. Um, I guess my ups, my positives. Uh, got a new song completed. Hell oh, yeah! Be on the looks up. Hey. Yeah, be on the lookout on that for my page for teasers. And second up is I'm on this joint. With two of my boys about to give y'all this video number two. So hell yeah! yeah. Hell yeah! Well, you love to see it. Let's go, let's go. Putting in that work. Sir. Let's see. Mine. Let's see. My high. Probably just waking up every morning and getting a cup of coffee, relaxing. Uh, Yesterday. And just chilling. I got my house all clean. Hell yeah. And adulting. That's pretty much, you know, drinking this water. That, um... Ooh, the flawless and then, toss. And then my low was when I was at work Friday. 
I had the glass bottles and I accidentally dropped one mm. and it just all over it, all over the uh, public floor. Mm. So I had to clean that up. That, that was the lowest. I mean, if the lowest is just, you know, having to clean up a, a spill, bro, it, life isn't that bad. You know what I'm saying? No. Oh, no. No, it's not. No. Unless it's cast and couch, but you know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so you said something about oh the credit cards and whatnot. I feel like the public school system needs to do a way better job of teaching us real life things. I oh. haven't used the Pythagorean theorem since I graduated, bitch. I went to ITT right. Tech. I know how to build computers, but I'm not building. I said ITT, now ICDC don't do me like that. <laughs> <laughs> do, do not do me like that, sir. But it's like, I haven't used anything that our high school has taught us. You know what I'm saying, bro? Right. And I feel like uh, the things that they're teaching us that we're le learning, we need to be able to actually like withhold said information and not just learn it to pass the test to go to the next fucking grade. Ah, uh, you hitting a nail on the head, bro. Oh, go go ahead, Cassidy. I wish they would have taught us more about like financial shit. That's what oh, I'm same, saying, bro. bro. If they would have taught us how to fucking do taxes, I don't need H and R to goddamn block, bro. I use TurboTax. You Dang. still gotta pay. Is this true? Uh, no, no, I do it for free. All right, I try to do it for I, free. And guess what I, they told I my the, stupid the ass. Version. Guess what they told my stupid ass? Hey, you want to do it for free? Okay, thirty dollars. I was like, okay, bitch. You say hey, you gotta... then I'm doing the so wrong. From, so from what I looked at on there, the more self-employed you are, the more likely you're gonna end up with a fee at the end of the consultation. But like, if you're employed by other people and you have taxes coming out regularly in your wages, and you're probably gonna get it free. Mm. Like like last year. Because of COVID, I think, um, like, I got, like, 1,200 back. So this year, I only got 136. Mm -hmm. That shit. Okay. Last year, brother? Look, I ain't going to count to you. Last year, them taxes were saying four bands. You would think that I had Ooh. a child. I was, you know what I'm saying? Them bitches said four fucking bands. And I said, blessed Lord. Because... I was working at a roofing company, yo, but I wasn't like making uh -huh. the, I was selling roofs, if that makes sense. So yeah. how they do it would be like, uh, if a roof is $20,000, I would get 9% of that. So my check was going to be 1800. Right. And I worked there, okay. I, cause after them steamies ran out, I wasn't working. Like when them steamies was here, I wasn't working. I was getting steamy money. I ain't gonna cap to you, my boy. But then, you know, I had to do something. They kind of forced the boy to do something. So with that being said, I had I found a job that was on Indeed. I was like, shit, you work here, nigga. You can make upwards to $100,000. I was like, oh, you capping like a bitch. Well, they wasn't capping like a bitch because I made 70 fucking bands. Jesus. You know, touching base on what you just said, though, even with like what, what, what all three of us are saying, with like getting certain things back each year during the taxes, it still falls back into what we were saying prior, just like, I really wish that like the school system, especially the Southern school system, would teach us more about budgeting, financing, how to file taxes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, knowing when to put money back if you're self-employed, because a lot of people don't know if you're self-employed and there's no taxes taken out, you're going to end up on the IRS money. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like what the hell do they really be prepping us for? Like, I, I really feel like they be prepping us to throw us in the cycle of pretty much giving money back to the government rather than them actually teaching us how to financially be stable within the American economy. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like there's a, uh, y'all may have heard of him, uh, Jordan Peterson. He, mm -hmm. he was, I forgot who he was talking to, but they have, they basically have a school, uh, where, and there's like, there's multiple schools. Now they started with one and then now they have a bunch of them. And so I think he said it's like thirty-five thousand dollars to attend for each ch uh, child, and they go from uh, K all the way up to twelfth grade, 
and they they it's not a regular school like yeah they teach you the basics and everything but when you get to like a certain age at like say like six years old they start prepping you for r real world like stuff they, they make you they make you go talk to uh uh like the teachers and all that stuff and prepping you for like how to how to speak to interviews and stuff like that and as you get older it gets a lot harder and you go more, more in depth into uh being able to be like a if you want to be a businessman uh if you want to be a salesman everything they'll target you for that specific thing that you want mm, and, yeah. and like the the school system doesn't do that like like basically basically we get taught the basics and pretty much a system is for us to fail pretty much <laughs> The system is for us to be stuck in the in the lower class. The system yeah, that we they were, want us to be in debt. Yeah, the system that we were forced to, to, to us three at least were forced to be in, bro. Is it, it's not to be in debt, it, but in debt, but it's to be like the working class, not to be you know what mm -hmm. I'm saying. The Elon Musk, we, they raised us to be yes men, basically. You know what I'm saying. The nine to five workers to get uh, un, uh retirement by like sixty five. If we but make then, it that long. If we make it that long. But then, you know, 2023 happened, and then you have 19-year-old millionaires. For You know what I'm Jeez. saying, bro? And for the people that don't understand, I got to know, like, the three of us, we're from, we're the only generation that could say we're from the analog era and everything back when we still had dial-up before the internet and all this. So we knew what it was like getting out of the mud. And then we're still young enough to also have experienced the beginning and the explosion of the internet era of just how you can make money from social media. True. Brother, we're from the era where you had a designated spot in the house that everybody in that household shared that computer. Right. While, while you had dial-up, imagine trying to get on the computer to watch Digimon to see Saber Leomon, but grandma's on the phone talking to some lady from church for four hours. Why? I... You can't even get on the hub like you want to because, you know what I'm saying? You got to be looking over the shoulder and don't let your back be by the door. Like, you got to be you right saying? here and the door got to be to your right so you can look over your shoulder type shit. Did y'all ever get trouble? Uh, with like when your parents listening to y'all's conversation on the phone. Yes, bro. I was never a it phone talking sweet. guy though. Mm. Like I didn't like to this day. I don't like. I don't really like talking on the phone. Yeah, the older oh, I'm, 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 I'm slick with that shit though. <laughs> I remember. Oh, I can't text you till after this. <laughs> I can't talk to you till after eight o'clock. Everybody, oh, and I stay with my grandma. Oh, so yeah. eight thirty, grand sleep. She slumped eight thirty, straight up. Oh, I got a story for y'all. Ass, but go ahead, Joe. In a uh, in middle school, like I just had a Nokia flip phone, but, it, but uh -huh. you weren't cool unless you had like the razor. Flip oh phone. yes, a oh, razor oh. changed the fucking game. What? It, 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 razor or BlackBerry? Which one? Damn, bro. I would, Can I say, okay, for style points, I'm going to say Razor because it's nothing like clacking on a bitch. Like when you just what? Oh, what you say, bro? It's nothing like that. That's so satisfying. Oh wait, wait, I forgot one. I forgot one contender. The Fuck sidekick. The, uh, the sidekick. Yeah. Sidekick's number one. Side. The sidekick put. The I don't remember what the sidekick looked like. Think of uh, a regular phone that turned to a Game Boy, bit. Oh, a Game Boy yeah, Advance. Yeah, like like you had it like this, and you would like and it slides it up. up. Yeah. yeah, bro. And that was hard, bro. I ain't gonna lie, I'm still gonna go with the flip phone number one. And then I'll go sidekick. Cause that clack is crazy. Yo. Bro, I I kind of felt like a boss with the flip phone though, cause if you get pissed at something, you jump. That's what I'm saying, bro. But listen, oh man. And chime in if you ever watch this video, bro. Say I'm lying. Gosh. Atri, yes, I'm calling you out, nigga. <laughs> High school, bro. Back when we still had them damn minute phones, bro, I had just refilled my goddamn minutes, bro. No. We was in our dang uh, tech class in the freshman wing. And uh, 
Man, this man asked me, could he use my phone for one phone call, bro? Said it wasn't gonna be nothing but a minute, bro. He stole, he used all and, your minutes? Oh, he used all the minutes, bro. No. He said, that, bro, it was only supposed to be a minute, bro. And I realized about 10 minutes later, I'm like, hold up, bro, still on my phone. No. I'm, man, I'm oh. wondering why this man got quiet, bro. He got quiet as hell in the middle of class. He over there cheesing him and my cousin Devontae, bro. By the time I got my phone back, man, he's just like, hey, man, yeah, you know. Uh yeah, I'm up there wondering why he not nah, shit like man. I got on my phone. Why tell me why I tried to text somebody? The text didn't go through. I tried to call the text, called him. I was like, come on, bro. I just bought these minutes, bro. And then That's you know, y'all kids my days. Y'all like nope. That's that bullshit, bro. That's that bullshit, bro. But see, that's I, that hurt. That's <laughs> that hurt. That's that. But you remember? We finna. I finna age myself even more. You remember buying ringtones or putting your phone to the radio, recording oh, yeah. it and making the ringtone? Bro, I had my little cassettes and I, I had a little stereo that you could record uh, from the radio. And so I would record like a, 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 a Three Doors Down song. And so I would just put that, I would, I would rewind that bitch. And then just go ahead and put my phone up to it, and just be like, and just let and let that be my ringtone. Hell yeah! And fucking, I remember accidentally hitting the internet button and me just going shit, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't even gonna count with y'all. I would have got my ass whooped. That's when I first learned how to like audio engineer for real, like that bootleg shit right there we talking about. Like my first few songs that I had cut. I had one, I had the phone in one hand playing the music. And then in the other hand, I had the house phone with my boys on three-way call on speaker. We rapping into the damn recording system on the damn stereo. <laughs> <laughs> right, I, uh, my, let's see, my struggle bus 101 with music. Uh, the first thing I ever recorded was in Audacity on a mm. small-ass fucking laptop. And my... uh. Me and George's uh, microphone, we used a garage band microphone. Okay. Like, yes, the video game. That's what we use as a, we it's just plugged in USB and that's what we used. It sounded like shit. Oh my god. But hey, it got it done. I mean look okay. So to so piggyback off of that, right? That's always something that the it starts off as a hobby and it just happens to evolve into something else, right? For both of y'all, we can both say music, right? Just think about that very first recording to now. Oh, bro, I can show you it, right? <laughs> and you still got it. Oh, yeah, it's on YouTube. Okay. Well, you know what it is. If you, if you want to do it to him, no, I ain't going to stop you. No. Nah, nah, nah. Okay. What's the video? Hey, y'all <laughs> lucky. Y'all lucky y'all can find it in the description of this video if, if Chaosity wants to link it. If I don't find it and link in my damn so shit. <laughs> my fellow anime lover, we had this conversation yesterday or last, I said yesterday, last week, last uh, podcast, bro. Uh -huh. Um, Do you think when it comes to referring anime to a newcomer, right? Hey. Do, you, do you go the old route? The old route is like your favorite anime, right? Or do you mm. take it from anime that are currently popping? Like, if somebody doesn't know what to watch anime-wise, will you be like, oh, you got to watch JJK, oh, My Hero, like, up-to-date shit? Or will you be like, no, nah, One Piece, goddamn me? Would you be like that? And I'm a little mixture of both, but mine is a little unorthodox a little bit. I will start off by suggesting like what's currently popping so that way if they do start anime it could jump in the current conversation and feel like you know they ain't left out rather than sending them something old first but yeah. I like recommend something like a uh, Vinland Saga or Tokyo Revengers you know because that's hot right now maybe yeah. even Chainsaw Man if they're in the gore yeah. uh, but, but I would also tell them too like if the newer animes is a little bit too pop culture is for you I'll be like, yo, check out some of these classics. And when I say classic, I ain't even talking about like the TV shows like Ghost in the Shell and nothing like that, no mm -hmm. Pokemon. I would, I would send them to Studio Ghibli. I'll be like, yo, check out uh, Spirited Away. Check out A Grave of Fireflies. 
Never seen that. And bro, bro, that shit, yeah. See, because okay, so my thing is, I like to um, I just, I just, I just, I'm ruining it. My thing is, I like to give people like short anime. Like, if this is your first time being introduced to the anime scene, I might say, hey, watch Gurren Logan. It's biased as fuck. It's my favorite anime. The first eight episodes are slow as shit, but it's only 24 episodes. It's only 24 episodes. And if you don't want to watch okay. that, you can watch um, you can watch the first season of Baki. I like action anime, though. I like, I like niggas to get in the mix. I will send you to Baki. It's only 10 episodes. You know, I will send you to a... um. High Rise Invasion, it's like maybe 12 to 24 episodes. I'll give you a, a short span of stuff to watch. Even your um Tokyo Revengers, it's 24 episodes max. And that's not an action anime to my sense, because like nobody has a special beam cannon or fat ass Ishigo sword. These are just animated Japanese mob boss niggas and they're in mid high school type shit. I don't want season two out. Of uh Revengers? Uh Oh no! I'm watching that as soon as we get off uh, this, bro. I'm on. I'm on that. I didn't even know they were making a season two. I man, I ain't even gonna. Bro, I binged through like the first three or four episodes last night. Is it heat though? It is though. It is. I it can't is say heat. that because I don't want to spoil it for you. But nah, if it's heat, we in the game. As long as it's some heat, yeah. we straight. Okay, cool. Because I how they ended it, bro. I was like, damn. I had to put Kawanis on, and he called me to like. Two days later, he was mad as fuck. Cause like, bro, for one, I didn't know that you liked slice of life anime. But for two, why the fuck it in like that? And I was like, yeah, bro, I'm sorry, bro. Yeah, bro. I ain't want to do it to you, but I had to do it to you. For those that don't know what we talking about, like they, like they built up season one, and the ending was literally a whole ass ending. That's all I can say. <laughs> it was a whole ass ending, straight up. So when I came into your stream, uh, don't break up the push game? ups, man. Uh, no, 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 dude, dude. bro. I wasn't even gonna say anything about that. Now that you've mentioned it, okay. Uh, <laughs> tell everybody, uh, yeah, we're not gonna mention all the deaths. Uh, tell everybody what oh, you're yeah. playing. Okay, so how long? And what's it about? Because I'm, I'm actually curious myself. Okay, well, you got X bar, so you pay, listen to me. The game that I was playing, as you, as you know, oh, uh, two weeks ago, I finished. Hogwarts Legacy. I was so happy to finish that game because like I told y'all last podcast, I'm not a fan. Whoop. I was excited to get on this new game. The game is called Wulong Final Dynasty. Um, This takes place like 184 BC. Like this is rural Japan area. I couldn't give you an exact date, bro. But it's like, think of Sekiro. It's like a Sekiro S game. You saw me get my ass whooped. Brother, the last stream, not last Sunday, the stream before that. Three hours, three and a half hours, I was fighting the first boss, like the tutorial boss. It took me four hours to beat that dude. Because like the pacing of the game seems fast, like you in the mix, bro. But same time, it's like it's calculated moves. You gotta watch your stamina bar. You also gotta watch your um your opponent's like stamina because you can get either your guard broken or break their guard stupid quick. Now, for all my Xbox people, if you have Game Pass, you don't even got to have an Xbox, just a PC. You can play it on Game Pass for the free ski. Shout out to Game Pass. Like, that shit is fire. $15 a month, and you have over 100 plus games. Damn near, I want to say like 500 games that you can play for free. They sometimes drops triple A games. They might drop a game that you never heard of, like Hi Fi Rush. But it sometimes they be bangers. Sometimes they don't. But the game is free. And I spent seventy five dollars on Hogwarts Legacy. I didn't spend a dime playing Wu Long, and I'm having way more fun on a game that I didn't have to put a dime into than I've ever did in the thirty one hours I played in Hogwarts Legacy, bro. It is so fire. You can see my cam, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Let me go to here. Like, it is so fire, bro. Um, You ever play Code Vein? If you play Code Vein, it's like Code Vein to where, like, <clears throat> you start the game off. 
some bullshit tragedy happens, and then some guy gonna look at you like these and be like, but who are you? On your uh, Pokemon Red and uh, Professor Overlaw, you a boy or girl. I don't really remember you, but I remember you even though I'm talking to you directly. One of those genres. And then you get to build your character. And it's in, it's, it's a decent, like, it's a decent character customization. I don't think it's as far as Code Vein, because Code Vein's character customization was nasty. I can make somebody look like Van Helsing from Helsing the animated series if I wanted to. Like, it was dope. Right. But the fact that you can, like, even get freak nasty on uh, Wulong is crazy. My nigga kind of look like Yusuke, who was the, the black anime swordsman that was on Netflix. He wanted to be Afro Samurai so bad. Yeah. So if you have Game Pass, you can get all of these games that you see. We don't see your on home my home. screen. Oh, okay, boom. We here. Yeah, yeah. So you can you have all these, everything. Same thing with PC. For Dante's Inferno, it's goaded. Dante's Inferno is goaded. This came out at the same time where I think it was like God of War 2. And everybody want to make a God of War clone? I want to play through the other God of Wars to help me better understand. Like, I understood Ragnarok because it was easy to follow. Yeah. But I, I want to I wanna go back to the original game so I know those little details that I know I missed. But the crazy part is, uh, did you watch Ragnarok or play Ragnarok? Watch it. There's there's subtle conversations that happens in Ragnarok, um, to where the the main subject matter of said conversation happened on the PSP games. Yes, I said the PSP games. Oh. So technically, what is this? God of War. What is this? Five, the fifth game. There's technically seven yeah. God of Wars, because you got uh, yeah. you, cause you got two on on PSP, and that's that's the only God of War game I've actually played, the PSP one. Because when God of War came out, I think I switched over to Xbox 360. Chaosity. Yeah, what up, what up, what up? That's something for you now, my boy. Please, pick me on game. Because I'm going to be completely biased by this, because this right now is my number one favorite game. Why do people shit on Overwatch so much? Help me understand it. Mm. Uh, for me, I don't know. For me, for me, it's it's just not my type of game. Mm. Um. Just, just the play style of it. Um, it's, it's a very unique game. And I don't know. I just don't. Oh, hold on. Sneeze coming. I apologize, guys. Um, what just got me fucked up? <laughs> also, you're still on the um, Game Pass. You're not on your oh, screen anymore. I know I am. Okay, for sure. Pause for a second. Hold on. While I blow my nose. <clears throat> Every sneeze that he just did, y'all gotta give us like that many comments each. Oh, it's because I had a fly ass nigga, flu gazy as my or a green ass nigga for my people that stay in the Florida area. I died a total that I counted, actually counted twenty mm. times. Now yeah, I, it was I way it was way more than that. Like before I started taking count, bro. I was already in like 80 push-ups. I was already in an 80 push-ups. And I did the 80. But there's still like, you know what I'm saying, 120 that I need oh, to yeah. give y'all. You, you, you were up to 150. Hey, bro, that doesn't count, bro. Yeah, that's it. A bullshit. That didn't count, bro. Hold on, 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 on. Let me turn my motherfucking cam on so you can look into my eyes. <laughs> Five times when I was when I was watching, uh -huh. when I wasn't playing Call of Duty, and you got two shots. Okay, 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 okay. Look, 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 look. To be fair, bro, get off, mm. he bro. was only he just hit level ten, and the and the the boss was what nineteen. That's what I'm saying, you bro. Kept getting, you kept getting two shots, so you know. Eh, 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 but you set your yourself up for that one because your title every death ten push ups like you fucked yourself over. This is the crazy part. In, in my head, I was like, I should low key just say like five, but my man raised no bitch. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, ten. I could do this shit. I wasn't expecting to be not even a an hour, not even forty five minutes in the game, and I was already doing eighty push ups, brother. <laughs> yeah, you weren't expecting to get this shit mixed. I got Blender Boys, bro. I got mixed up, bro. I'm telling you, I was pissed, bro. The game is fire though, bro. Like I'm, I'm maybe. 
I'm like seven hours into the game, but I didn't really make no progress because the first stream was me literally getting my shit kicked in for three hours straight on the the first, the very first boss. To make it make sense to y'all, bro. So let me, let hold me, on. Let me oh. change to my Xbox. Hold on. To make why he does that. To make it make sense, it's like if you play Pokemon Red version, right? Not no radical red. I'm talking about red version. You get your starter, right? You go against the op. The op is obviously gonna have the starter that kicks your ass. Gary and them is gonna have. If you got Charmander, this nigga got. Fucking Bulbasaur, and for three hours he beat your ass. Damn, that's what I had to deal with. But once I beat Buddy, oh, energy levels was maxed out. It was. It, you remember back in the day when you had to like sit time aside to train up to get ready for the Elite Four before, oh. like when Pokemon. It wasn't like Pokemon's. It was ever a hard game, right. but like you had to grind. In OG Pokemon games to even get them levels type shit. Like you didn't have a wild area yeah. so you can farm niggas. Experience share, wild you, area. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have none of the candies. You didn't have none of that shit, bro. You had to go in the wild area, get in the mix and train niggas. When you yeah. finally beat the champion, that's like as a kid though, that's how it felt to beat the very first boss, bro. Like, Pokemon Red, I would say Red. play the game. Wulong, I would say play the game. If you got an Xbox, it's completely free if you got Xbox. If you don't got an Xbox or a PC, you want to pay $69.99. But if you got Game Pass, bro, it's free. What you doing, bro? This ain't even sponsored, but hey, Microsoft, what's up? Talk to me. <laughs> Talk to us. Okay, you one, you can give us new PCs, and I'd be cool. Talk to us. Number one, Part. we have Hot Wheels Unleashed. Uh -huh. What? Hold on, time out. A game? You played it? Yeah, 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 yeah. How was my game? Yeah, fucking how? It, it apparently it's game of the year edition. What the? Yeah. <laughs> Hold on, that doesn't mean it won game of the year though. <laughs> it just got all the DLCs and shit. And then, and then and then going back to uh Pokemon for a second, fucking you know you're. Oh, that DLC car, finna drop. Fucking you're you're in the car, you know you're you're playing the game, mm -hmm. and then. And then, you know, sun goes down, so now mm -hmm. all you have is the fucking street lights that you're mm -hmm. trying to... You're, yeah, mm -hmm. nah, nah, nah. Kids don't know the struggle these days. Yeah. Oh, you remember when they came out with the, the link? That you oh. that, that was a flashlight, but then also the link that you had to fucking plug into the other Game Boy to trade? Yep. yep. You remember when you got your first action replay or Game Shark? Uh, I don't remember that. I'm talking about... I, I used to... Okay, so the statute of limitation has passed. I can talk about this and not incriminate myself again. So Walmart. I'm not missing out. <laughs> Walmart used to sell Game Sharks and or action replay. This came out, uh, I want to say, with Pokemon Black and White version, right? It looked like a, a Game Boy car or it looked like a cartridge, like uh, a DS cartridge, right? But it had an empty slot where you put your game in. It unlocked every cheat for you. I'm talking about get. 10, like, get a million EXP just fighting a fucking level one magic card, get unlimited rare candies, master balls, uh, lower the cash rates of Pokemon. Like, it, it had the game for you. Wow. Like, I caught Shaman because it gave you a, a cheat where you can walk on water, walk through walls and shit. I caught Shaman before Shaman even got released to the US. Wow. I just walked. I just walked on this ocean yeah, path. Bro. There's no invisible walls for you, so you can literally just Danny Phantom on your way through that bit. Saw an island, jumped on the island. Like, who the fuck is this strawberry ass nigga? Find out it's a strawberry ass nigga. Caught the nigga with a pokeball. One try. Why? Cause action replay. Wow. And cheater ass motherfucker. Hey, bro. I was. I was like. I was. I was young, bro. I wanted Look, to be I the. Can't... I wanted to be the very best, like no one ever was, bro. Look, I can't say shit. Fucking, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you did this. Fucking, I would kick my mom off Sims. <laughs> on, and and get, the, get the cheat codes off GTA. Well, for GTA. Like, unlimited I think we, ammo, uh, unlimited vehicles. I think, but the only GTA memory I have, bro, and this ain't Andreas. I was at my cousin's house. We were playing it. Uh, I think it was like a magazine or some shit. And they had the cheat codes in it. 
Remember, remember when we it's found like out about it? I think so. I'm not sure, but you remember when like we had to get subscriptions to find out the 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 newest Yu Gi Oh pack release, uh, anything that was gaming related because we didn't really have commercials like that. But if you did, you'd probably see a Crash Bandicoot. You remember when Crash Bandicoot was PlayStation's that mascot? Spyro. Yeah. That's a year. That is that is some time, bro. Speaking of this, bro, a Nintendo and or Pokemon company, y'all ain't shit for one. I'm just mad that y'all getting a bag that extensive because y'all really ain't shit. Y'all gave us, you know, what's the game that just came out? It's not Sword and Shield. What are we playing right now? What Pokemon game? Scarlet and Violet. Y'all gave us Scarlet and Violet the beta. Scarlet and Violet. Which is mm -hmm. fucking Legends Arceus. Scarlet Violet beta is Legends Arceus, right? I will give you that. Because it, it was... The kid in me enjoyed every moment of actually being able to play a mainstream Pokemon game on the big screen, right? That's cool. But then y'all give us a $60 game that was buggy than a bitch. And then want us to give you another $40 for this DLC, bitch. Yeah. Y'all right. And I'm going to buy it because I need... I, I need that. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to be the very best like no one ever was. The cash them is my real quest. The training them is the cause, bro. I need to do that. I will travel across the lands. Searching far and wide. All right, I ain't going to keep preaching to y'all. But, <laughs> but Attack on Titan, oh, see, I brought it back to anime. Attack on Titan doing the same shit, bro. If you watch Attack on Titan from day one of release, I am so sorry. Y'all have been waiting about 10 years for this whole story to be finished. From season Damn, one, from, from season one, Attack on Titan, it was like a three year, four year gap. It got so bad that Netflix picked up Attack on Titan season one. You can watch season one on Netflix. You can't watch season two and up though, but you can watch season one, right? Then y'all give us season two. Season two, like okay, y'all, y'all, y'all. I didn't know that y'all was. Gonna recall some foreshadowing some shit in season one, episode three, like that. I didn't know whoever wrote Attack right. on Titans a fucking mad genius because the storytelling is wow, chef kiss. Then y'all give us season three, isn't that the final season or just season four? Regardless, bitch, y'all are at the final season, part three, part two. What the fuck is a part three, part two? And listen, <laughs> this is and the listen. hoe. This is the hoe. Y'all gave us the final season part two last year, right? Then y'all gave us the final season part three, part one, like two weeks ago. It's an hour long special. And then these bitch ass niggas gonna tell us, oh, the final season part three, part two ain't coming out till the fucking fall. What the fuck is this? Makes zero sense. That's like, that's like. It's like having a niche on your balls, but you can't scratch it. It's like that itch in the middle of your back, bro. Oof. So you lean against the like the door frame and scratch it low key, and it feels fantastically fantastic. But as soon as you get that back meat off the door, itches again. It's like, come on, bro. By the time we finish uh, Attack on Titan, Invincible Season 3 will be out. I don't even think I've seen Season 2. What's the best season season two hasn't it's been announced but it's not out yet it's not out yet it's been announced though but it's not out yet okay here's 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 a question for me now for both of y'all um you know I'm an Xbox player of course as y'all see I feel you what Xbox is, game what is the best anime console game anime console game mm, oh and the best um, anime console in, in y'all's opinion y'all's opinion. That's actually off an anime, and not an anime-inspired game. I mean, it could be both, uh, unless you want to put it in a two separate categories. The best anime game that we have, I'm gonna, uh, not to be biased, bro, is gonna be Dragon Ball Fighters. Okay. It's gonna be like your Tekken Street Fighter esque fighting game. It's a two D fighting game. But it's Dragon Ball Super characters. They got some throwback characters too. But it's that's the, I would give that as the best anime console game. Unless you want me to say like Naruto Ninja Storm or some shit. Because um, Demon Slayer, they dropped that game way too soon. 
they should have waited till more stuff was like available in Demon Slayer before they dropped the game. Because Demon this Demon Slayer game is nothing but a um Ninja Storm Shadow Clone. No key. I haven't played the game yet, but I will give my perspective on this. Like Demon Slayer was cold, and I think they ate off the hype too soon. Like I think they thought they was up there before they was up there. Don't get me wrong, they were cold now because they were putting out graphics yeah. as a pilot. Yeah. That other theories didn't have until like what the second or third arc? No, for sure. When Demon Slayer hit, like when Demon Slayer touched down, they shook some shit up. They no. shook some shit up to the point where I think when season two came out, that's when they made the game. It was roughly around it. I think it was like after Mugen Train, the movie. Yeah. I'm not. Sh- I, I don't really remember the release date of the game, but when, when Demon Slayer dropped, bro, it shook some shit up. It was one of those like a breath of fresh air anime. Like you wasn't expecting it to be like this. I give you one thing yeah. I don't like though: the main character Tanjiro, he a bitch. Damn. He a bitch. He's the only nigga I know that be like, but he was a good person. Well, I gotta. He's a fucking demon. He just killed the whole fucking village thirteen seconds ago. Damn. Didn't even didn't even take a sweat over it. He's like, oh, swipe, swipe, got your neck in my hand. Whole village disintegrated. And you <laughs> wanna cry. Cause he used to be a fucking blacksmith. Don't nobody give a fuck. Arto would never. I can mm. He got down talk no jutsu, but he would know. Okay. Jody, not to cut you off. I got I asked this question earlier. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta ask this question one more time on, on the pod, right? It's a hypothetical. You might know a little bit, Jody, and if you played any um Ninja Storm games, like Ultimate Ninja Storm one one through four, damn. Okay. <laughs> Azazes. Let me see. Hypothetically, huh? Who's the best character in Naruto? Or who the would be the best game. character? We're gonna say the anime. You can you can you can fusion dance a bitch and make a character off scratch. But who do you think? Is the best character or what combination of two characters will make the best character? And I feel like the coldest is probably Madara and Itachi. Mm. Um, mm. We just talking based on just like straight up hand to hand combat. Rock mm-hmm. Lee for sure. Um, okay. Can't forget my boy Guy. But okay. just as far as like technique and jutsu wise, I man, come on now, Madara cold, bro. Man, did did y'all see in the Ninja War when that man got reanimated? He man, come on, bro. He that started man, mixing niggas by himself. That man mixed armies. <laughs> he didn't mix like a hundred plus people by himself. And this man was mixing tail beasts by himself. I mean, man dropped. He got a whole move. Planetary uh, devastation, huh? He dropped a, a, a Earth. He dropped a moon on that nigga. He was like, oh, you stopped the first one. How about two more? I was like, oh shit, he different. Oh. He different. Oh. But okay, hear me out. If um Sakura and Rock Lee would have had a kid instead of Sakura and Sasuke, that kid would have been the strongest being base level in Naruto history. I can second that. Because the kid would have been able to use that little diamond shit that Sakura got from uh, Lady Tsunade, but also have the eight gates. If the eight gates is a times ten multiplier per gate. And the diamond is already a time sim multiplier. That's like saying uh, Ultra Instinct Kaioken, bro. Moderate wouldn't be able to do nothing to the buddy. Like, straight up. The coldest nigga in, in, in Naruto to me is Kid Gara. Because he was a fucking dog. That was one emo ass boy. Yeah, but he was like, I just want to see you die. Hope she brought an umbrella. Because it's going to rain your blood. I was like, who the fuck is this? And then he did it. And did he, oh, he did? Yeah, oh yeah. That nigga put somebody oh. in a fucking sand coffin midair, put his hands together like these, and it was just raining blood and sand. I was like, oof. Oh. And they showed this shit on Toonami. You remember when you had to watch anime on Toonami? Oh, yes. You tuned in every week. Hey, so all my new anime watchers, um, anime that's out right now, and they got a movie. You can probably watch everything on Crunchyroll. I would suggest watch Jujutsu Kaisen. Only because if you want to see somebody get in the mix and throw hands, watch JJK, bro. Every they have a panda. The That's panda the, is uh, the Discord. Okay, I got you. Oh, uh, the panda is a mixologist, but it's a it's a dude named Toto. 
His whole thing is if he claps his hands, he can pick an object Ooh. and trade places with him. So there's a fight. I'm going to use this Discord call as an example. Let's say, ooh, I'll be the villain. So I'm so I'm the one getting maxed out and not nobody else. Let's say uh, Azazes is Toto and you are the main character, right? Uh, Chaosity. And every time Azazes clap his hands, if you're to the left of me and he's to the right, y'all switch spots. So if you hit me with a punch and then Azazes clap hands, he's not in front of me hitting me with a... B- bruh. Oh, it's cold. It's cold. It's cold. And I think that's only, tw- I want to say 12 episodes. It's a bitch move, though. It's like, uh, fuck you. I mean, okay, but there's also a guy that literally, he can't speak. Like, he can speak, Ooh. but he's the personification of my words have power. If I look at you and say, hey, die, you will kill yourself. Like, he literally has to speak gibberish, stop himself from, like, unleashing some mayhem. Like, like straight up, they'd be like, are you trying to fight? He'd be like, Salmon, because you can't say nothing. He just say random ass words, vanilla pudding. Random ass words. Because if he says anything that could have malice behind it, it will actually happen. That shit's cold, bro. Yeah. JJJ, huh? JJK, cold, bro. That's definitely oh. on my my new age anime watches. Like if you ain't watched the anime, like anime before, I would definitely look to get in your feels. I would tell you to watch the movie A Silent Voice. I'm a grown ass man. Ain't seen that, bro. That's the saddest movie I've ever seen in my life. In my life, y'all probably say, "Oh, Yeller sad." I did not cry in Old Yeller. I'm a black man. I never had a golden retriever, bitch. It was pit bulls. I didn't give a damn. <laughs> the worldwide you know what I'm saying a silent voice bro I cried three times like not no anime tears bro not that one single tear I was <laughs> I was crying bro like real talk uh, silent voice is on Netflix I'm plugging everything that's on Netflix cause you know we in a day and age Man. where they'll be like oh hey we're gonna God. do we're gonna do streaming services so we're going to kill fucking cable, but the amount of fucking streaming services you need to watch the shit that you want to watch, you're paying more than fucking cable, bitch. You want to watch Last of Us? HBO. You want to watch any Marvel shit? Disney Plus. All right, so y'all, everybody in the comments, check this out. We're going we gonna to total switch on this. Ooh, bar. I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch what you just suggested, Bosky. Mm-hmm. In exchange for you watching Grave of Fireflies, we're going to see which one is the saddest. Okay, okay, I got you. I watch that bitch tomorrow at work. Real talk. Hey. But I think uh, a silent voice. It might be an hour thirty, or okay. I don't. Th- I don't think it's two hours, bro. It's bro. When I bro, it's sad as shit, boy. It's sad as shit, boy. I'm not gonna say nothing about it to spoil anything. So when it pops up, you be like, oh, this is what he was talking about. I'm just gonna tell you, I cried hey. three times. I cried three times. Like I, I felt, I felt the pain. Like I real deal felt the pain that was expressed to me by somebody's drawing, bro. And I cried three times. Show no pain. I'm still stuck on old, old yeller. <laughs> oh. oh, hey, I will also yeah. tell somebody to watch Dead Man Wonderland, bro. If you never watched Dead Man Wonderland, it's 10 episodes, bro, and it's fire. Everybody in that bitch is a bloodbender. Uh, are you are we on the... Why... Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, no, I was just going to say, why are we on the topic of, like, sad shit, though? And I'm, I am I believe this is on Netflix. Correct me if I'm wrong, Bosky. Okay. Uh, A Promise okay. Neverland. That's a sad-ass okay. anime. The first ever, the first season is on Netflix for sure. Yeah. I never I never saw season two. I heard it uh it hold the uh the manga. Like there's a time oh, they did, skip. Bro. Okay, yeah, I never seen season I've two. Seen season one though, sad than a bitch. It's yeah. not sad. It's not sadder than uh, a silent voice though. Mm. Like you're gonna be it's one of those, it's one of those it's, it's no action. It's it's a slice of life. It's the only slice of life I watched besides Villain Saga season two <laughs> and Tokyo Revengers, bro. Yeah. Hey. But it's what are you saying, Captain? So so y'all are telling me to watch this. Uh I want y'all to watch Arcane. It is from uh League of Legends. It's on Netflix, yeah. That's on my list, honestly. 
Okay. Oh, dude, it's so. Did you know that the, the League of Legends folks are dropping a video game? It's called Project L. Look, look, I'm they that serious. They're dropping I mean, a. It's called Project L. I think they plan on dropping it on every console, every gaming experience possible. I'm talking about from the from the fucking Switch oh, all the way to the Steam Deck. And it's going to okay. instantly have rollback netcode. And for those who don't know what rollback netcode is, it's basically the game being AI and predicting your moves before you do it so there's no um, interference in connection. That's the best yeah, way to so, explain it. So, so if you just search Project L, Riot Games put up a, a video saying dev gameplay basics and tagged. So you can, you can just go watch that. It's, uh, from what I see right here, it's just them explaining it and uh, executive producers and everything. I think okay. that's the that I think that's the game that's going to shake up the fighting game community, because uh I'm gonna say rest in peace. I didn't even get the chance to play it for real like that, but um, multiverses has dropped in ninety nine percent of gamers, like ninety nine percent of their fan base have dropped the game, to the point of where it's about to die. So other games that are about to die that I know of, it, these came out mid like pandemic era. It's a game mm -hmm. called Knockout City. It is Fortnite, but it's dodgeball. It's a battle royale, nothing but dodgeball. I played it on the channel. I was streaming it. It's a fun party game. Because you can sit and chat with the homies. You know what I'm saying? Hey, I'm going to pass you the ball. Or I'm going to take a ball up, turn to a ball, let me got there. Uh. It was a fun interactive game with the homies, playing it by yourself. Uh, that game is dying this year. And then it's a game called uh, Rumbleverse. It's a wrestler battle royale. That game is, the servers are closing this year. As long, uh, also the Avengers game, they're finally shutting them servers down. Damn. Oh, speaking of the topic of games, I, I just realized, Cassie, that I never gave my take on uh, the anime game switch from earlier, like which oh, yeah, was yeah, yeah. the, yeah. Uh, yeah. No particular order or no particular series, but uh, I feel like the best to do it in both anime and games is Pokemon, Dragon Ball, and uh, Naruto. Is <laughs> all the other games like it's just it's Naruto sorry adaptations to me. Say that again. Naruto has a has a game. Yeah, Naruto Ninja got Storm. Ninja Storm, Shinobi Strikers. Yeah. Um, they're dropping a new Boruto to Naruto Ultimate Ninja, whatever the fuck. Which is just right, a, I ain't gonna count with y'all though. If you pay for that, you're a duck. One game that I feel like they need to get right, they could probably dominate everything, is Digimon. Cause like I ain't gonna lie, bro. Like aside from those little shake handhelds that we had like in middle school, oh my god, all the Thank other, you. yeah, all the other Game Boy, uh, not Game Boy, you all the know. other games that Digimon got. I'm disappointed, bro, because they make it seem like it's almost some Pokemon type shit. Cause like you got you got what you see in the anime. Yeah. Where everybody get their own assigned, you know, Digi partner, but then you get the game and it's just like, oh, you can go and capture as many Digimon as you want and switch to Digimon to fight this boss and that boss. I'm like, bro, what is this, bro? Like, you're taking away the whole bond that they built with one Digimon to, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, oh, so like, you want a game that's tried and true? Yes, bro. And like, I don't even want to be able to pick my Digimon, bro. I want it to be kind of like how the, uh, the Hogwarts legacy thing is like as soon as the game starts, you make your character, mm -hmm. you gotta do some type of choosing, which you know pretty much sets your personality. And based on the algorithm of that, you get assigned a random Digimon and you gotta boss that Digimon up. So it doesn't have to be so what I'm saying, and we're gonna trademark this in advance. If you if you see a game like this, you heard it first in the hitbox and specifically from Azazel's mouth, goddammit. We want our bread, or at least his bread. Right. I want 10%, goddammit. You know what? I what if you get caught with like the, the weakest Digimon though? The weakest Man, Digimon. Okay, so you just want every any Digimon possible. That's gonna be too extensive though. Mm, I see what you're saying, because there is a lot of Digimon. There's a, there's like by the time Pokemon was at uh Digimon or Pokedex entry 300, Digimon was at Digi entry fifteen hundred. You see what I'm saying? There's a lot of Digimon. So the only way that would be possible if they weren't like the main, you know what I'm saying? Is, is there like five main people in Digimon? I haven't seen Digimon in a minute. But whomever the main characters are, yeah, you be that. Like you get to pick from that collective from 
each season, but you get their main Digimon. That'd be the only way to do it. Huh. I could rock with it. And then, like, I feel like they should I still think it should be, like, kind of choice-based, too, because, you know, each Digimon, unlike Pokemon, you know, Pokemon, they only got one evolution tree. Digimon yeah. got split evolutions. And I feel like based on your decisions and whether you're a dark Digitamer or whether you're a good Digitamer, it kind of decides where the Digivolutions go to. Well, then that shit need to be like Elden Ring on some open world shit type hey. shit. Now, you can go over these scenes if you want to, but if you ain't the right... You can go to this DJ Khalid if you want to, but if you ain't got it in you, you finna get thwapped up. They need... Yeah. Ooh, that's, that'd be a hard game, though. What's your favorite now season of Digimon? What I'm What's your favorite season of uh, Digimon? I ain't gonna cap. That's probably gonna be uh, season three with Guillaume and all them. No, it ain't my season. I think I like the season after that. Uh, Beast Tamers. When they turn into the Digimon, they got like a, a lighter type shit. And they turn into the yeah. Digimon, but then they got a beast form. Yeah. That's, that my favorite, that's my favorite season. That's my favorite season. Oh. That would spark my love for Blaziken. I ain't gonna lie to you, because that fire dude, when he turned to his beast form. Oh, was, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that All would right. spark my love for Blaziken, for surely. The Chaosity played Digimon. Oh, you trying I'll to kill it. the folks. That man ain't got a laser pointer in the camera. You know what mm. I can beat y'all's ass in now? What's that? <clears throat> Beyblade. Are oh, you stupid as Man, shit? Man, come on, bro. You stupid on, as bro. shit. <laughs> bro, I let it rip so exclusively, bitch. You got it fucked up. What you say? <laughs> bro, okay, so being a guy, I'm not going to call where I stayed in the hood, but it was a lot of less privileged people, right? It wasn't, I've seen worse hoods. But where I grew up in Foley, we had Beyblades. And these are back when the Beyblades were actually like metal rings. These wasn't no plastic. Right. Right. These bitches yep. weighed at least a pound and a half. Minimal. We would get on tramp. What? We would get on trampolines. Mid bounce. Ugh, battle. If you get hit in the shin, I'm telling you, you just want to. It felt like you got hit in the leg by a scooter. With, with 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 spikes on it, bro. You ever got hit in the ankle oh. by a scooter? That shit hurt. <laughs> That's what the Beyblades yeah. felt like, bro. Yeah. We used to do oh, some ratchet shit. Bro, I've never thought about that. We used to do some ratchet shit. Trampoline. Hell yeah. I mean, it gets to the point where you, you always want to push the limit to some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, what else can we do? Like, it got to the point where we were playing with Nerf guns, bro. Oh, no. For, for me, it got to the point where we froze our paintballs. Bro, we I froze that. we froze the nerf bullets. I don't think niggas understand. Like, I don't think nobody gets how deadly that is. It got to the point where we were putting like toothpicks, paper clips, thumbtacks at the end of these nerf bullets. Hey, Y'all tripping. Nah, nah, nah. Nah, fucking you'll be you'll be in class. Fucking and you'll have your little hornets and rubber bandages. Just... Yo, that, that oh, the Hornets? Hurt. You remember when they yeah. took them out? You remember when they stopped doing that and we started using uh, airsoft bullets and a hollow pin? Oh. Uh. We was out here with African blow darts, basically, in middle school, bitch. <laughs> you, you, you in a social studies class. <sighs> Bow, right in the neck meat. Mad as fuck, because you don't know who did it. Uh, Damn. Okay. Nah, my... Like I'd just be sitting there in class, and then uh oh god, what was it? Uh, they would they would be like uh, let me get that meat and just oh <laughs> pause hey neck hey, hey pre pause <laughs> pre pause because for y'all who who are listening you don't know what let me get that meat means they used to just get <laughs> <laughs> they used to get oh, their pause, whole pause. head <laughs> they used to get their whole head and just slap you the back of the neck with it. You have some people that's called it neck. Some people call it, hey, pap that meat. Let me get that. It, it's, 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 it was a weird time. It was a weird time looking back at it, right? I seen somebody. We're in, high school. We're in high school. I seen somebody wall jump off lockers. I'm talking about Super Mario level three. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And slap the shit out of somebody. In the... When I tell you I would have been expelled from every school in the county, if I would have got hit with that, bro, that man hit that man with the United States of Smash is what I'm trying to tell you. He... Papped the shit. All right. 
Oh. And as a oh. black man, you can't just let that slide because if you get your oh. ass papped or beat at school and you don't win the fight, you gonna get when you get home, you get your ass beat for fighting, and you get your ass beat for getting your ass beat. Bro, I, I've I've seen God who I I forgot who was fighting. Uh, uh I think it, God, I can't remember. But like one of the coaches just came up and speared one of the guys. That sounded like Coach Scott. As they were fighting. And I was like, God. <laughs> oh, that was Coach like Bailey. <laughs> that sounded like. <laughs> but we grew up ratchet, it was, it was, bro. He was, was, was a bigger guy. He was bald. Bridges? Was this high school? Yeah, yeah high school. Yeah, yeah. Coach Bridges? Sound like Bridges. I, I, I think it was Bridges. Oh. We can't talk oh, about it now. We, we can't keep, we can't, we can't keep right. talking about Coach Bridges, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You talking about when them girls was fighting? No, no, no. It was two guys. Okay. I remember a fight in, in middle school that happened. It was uh on the pavement uh, uh by the snack area. And uh, you uh, talking about Rick Daly and Trey. Uh, there was two girls. Two girls. Cause a whole titty popped out. And me in middle school, I was like, Oh, we in the game, bitch. Oh, <laughs> lunch finna be oh. lit today. I think you talking about Sabrina. I couldn't I could I couldn't tell you who it was. I just know it was a titty that popped out and I was like, Bless the Lord, you knew what I needed today. Yeah. Yeah, I <laughs> you know, knew. I got a test next period too, boy. You God, you know what I needed today. Yeah, I, mean, I needed to see me a titty or two to pass this test. Well, what you say? <laughs> Wasn't trying to put it back in. <laughs> she was like, meek, meek, titty, meek, meek. I was like, all right, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up, weave, bitch, weave. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, dude, high school was so fun. But here's the crazy part: looking back at it now, elementary school. Like Magnolia School, it kind of sets you up to know who's gonna be who growing up. There was a spe- there was a specific game. We called it wall ball, and it's literally just a oh, tennis ball man. and a flat surface. Right, you throw the ball at the wall. If somebody catches said ball, the person that threw it first has to run and touch the wall. If you don't make it in time, and I throw this ball at you, dead center of your spinal cord, you're out. People ain't tossing these balls. Every person that catch the ball instantly turned to an MLB All Star. Curve balls at 133 miles per hour. This wasn't no like no little like cushy little. No, these were. This tennis is real balls. tennis balls. We were in like fifth grade. Yep. Uh, and then oh, and then also you forget the the rule. If you go to try to catch it off the wall. And, and it falls, drop it. you got to yep. touch the wall. That's some bullshit. Because if you don't pay attention, they... Whew, I'm talking about... Everybody's free game at that point. This is like, what, what I didn't like. Hey, if you're a coach, right, and you're in, like, middle school, elementary school, and you decide to let the kids play fucking dodgeball, we call it the king's court, don't put your grown ass in the game. Let the kids play. Or it needs to be every kid versus your grown ass. We were in fifth grade. Coach Jordan, he's at least 33 at that time. <laughs> Throwing right, full-fledged, right. I'm talking about haiku, the anime style balls at niggas. And we just trying to either win or get out so we can trade you get your cards. <laughs> You're trying to survive. I'm trying to survive, bro. Life or death at that point. Speaking of survive, perfect ass segue. April 21st, Dead Island 2 drops. Thoughts? Oh. Zombie hey. game, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Zombie Survivor Co-op. April 21st of this year. But here's the crazy part. Uh, six, I think it's the 20th, actually. Uh, yeah, 21st, 21st. 21st, yeah. Seven days later, Jedi Survive drops. And the, uh-huh. and the first Dead Island dropped 2011. Damn. They've been cooking that game up for 10 years. That means that shit was in development hell. Because I think the original the original people who was like coming up with the game or whatever, they dropped it or they went to a different studio and they were having like, I don't know, but 10 years on a game, that's development hell. Like it got into it got in, it got into too many hands. And I've seen some reviews of people that got early access to the game, and they're just saying it's it's mid, it's okay. But but I will say, you know, uh, just like with the Gears of War series, um, now I would rather wait ten years for a game that's absolutely fucking flawless 
than for a game to be made in only two or three years, and it have just a shitload of bugs. It's it's shitty. The the concept yeah, you, really wasn't really thought of. No, you don't want to. You don't want. You don't want. You don't want to know the cyberpunk. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Uh, or, it, it was a good. Cyberpunk was a good game. No, yeah. I'm not saying I'm not saying Cyberpunk wasn't a good game, but Cyberpunk had hella bugs, like hella bugs. Oh, yeah. I saw uh, a car come out the fucking ground, bitch, like just out the ground. GTA shit. But Cyberpunk only came back to life after uh, the Cyberpunk anime. Let's just let's call it Duck a Duck, bro. Let's call it Spade a Spade. When that oh, if you ever seen a, if you want an anime, a, another anime to be recommended, bro. Cyberpunk In Runners. It's only ten episodes, I think. It's active as shit. But it's in the cyberpunk world. So if you ever played the game or thought about playing the game, there's scenes in the game that are actually in the anime and vice versa. Because I think the anime happens like 10 years, 20 years before the game even starts. So there's certain areas that you're going to see in the show that are in the game and it's dope as shit to me. Uh, all right, so we're all guys here, right? Uh, <laughs> who is the hottest anime character? I don't participate in... I don't participate in these activities. I mean, obviously, I'm gonna be like, damn, that bitch got some big ass titties. Damn, why they go, why they draw Tsunade like that? But same time, though, it's like, she just lines and colors, bro. She's O's and zeros, bro. Just ones What's and zeros. O's and zeros. I meant ones and zeros, bro. You want the puzzle to bring it up, man? Damn. <laughs> 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 But if I was to partake in this, bro, you can say any bitch from Kill a Kill. I said it. I still ain't seen it. Give, Brother. Me, give me Ari from uh, League of Legends. See, I don't know nobody from League of Legends, bro. But if we doing that, if we doing that, give me Jesse from fucking Pokemon, bitch. Nurse Joy, bitch. Officer Jenny, bitch. Yes. Ooh. I gave you three. Same anime. What we talking? You want me to switch to animes? I got you. My Valentine, come fuck with me. What about what about you, Zayson? Man, there's so many damn characters, bro. My mind going blank right now. Oh, you seen uh the the, the wait, prison wait, high wait, school? Wait. You seen the prison high school anime? Uh uh. Damn. Some out uh I think it's called school Prison School, bro. I think it's called prison school. I think it's called because like the there's like five dudes, but the headmasters or whatever are women, and they wear like a yeah. black, like a a, a gray, nah, a brown overcoat. There's one lady in that bit. I'm talking about. She got she she has to has a G cup, bro. And like she's killing ladies who not a bro. I feel like for me, uh, Nico Robin and Nami, One Piece. But see, and, they, uh, they just draw. Probably from Naruto. He not a bad, but they draw the One Piece girls weird, bro. Long torso ass. Torso look like a black and mild plastic tip. Body be uh, long. <laughs> body be long yeah. than a. <laughs> it be long than a bitch, bro. But then they be having all the curves. And sh- you remember Total Drama Island? Uh, why they drew him like that, bro? Ooh, man. No, nah, I got you. Uh, Cassidy, uh, you said you said uh, League of Legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ari. Okay, hottest cartoon. Yeah, baddest cartoon character, bro. I got two for you right now. Low key three. I need Dexter's mom. Number one. Mm. Mm. Number two is Shigo. Mm. Number three. This 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 the one. The lady who we never saw her face in fucking Powerpuff Girls. All we saw was the body and the hair, red hair with the curliness. We need that. Right. Honorable honorable mission from Lilo and Stitch. Lilo's sister. Nani. Yep. Yep. I'll say uh I'll say Kim Possible. Over Shiro? I feel that. Over Shiro's? Little goth bitch? Uh, uh, the goth, the goth bitch? Yeah, from uh, Shiro. Uh, 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 I, no, I, I will, I, I, I will I, post a clip that you put in the group chat yesterday when you singing Buddy's song, and you gonna tell me that you ain't gonna try to go with Shiro? 
love, love me right. like you hate I, me, like you want me, kiss right. me. Like, you, you want to tell me you ain't want she go? Like, Dude, Kim I, is a bad bitch, though. She go is right there. Okay, facts. Yeah. I do. Facts. But, you know, I, I love redheads. I feel that, too. I, I feel that. Understandable. But what is she gonna put on the wig? Then what? Damn. Oh, you said it the same. Y'all both could even fight. <laughs> Good argument. Good argument. I still want Dex's mom though. Dexter's mom for sure. I need that. Miss Incredible. Ooh. What about? I wasn't even trying to say Timmy it, but yeah. Mom. Who? Timmy Turner. Fairly Odd Parents. She can get mixed too. I'm trying to. She had a skinny, skinny waist, and she was pretty, pretty cute. She wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't shitting on fucking Dexter's mom though. No, 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 no. Uh, like he was standing, she was standing straight up, and he was standing on her back, the top part of her ass, bro. She's walking around with two old school Vizio, or not Vizio, but goddamn <laughs> the old school TVs with the VCR yeah, in that bitch, bro. The Kim, the Kim K TVs, bro. She had two of them holes attached to her back, bro. Um, Almost I'm, disconnected I'm to... this lab with. <laughs> I, I, need, I, I need that, bro. Okay. Final topic before we end it off, bro. Because we're a little bit over the time that we said, but it's cool. No, this is yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Hey, second podcast. We, we get into filler things and shit. All this shit was freestyle, by the way. I don't have a a script over here saying, hey, this is what we're going to talk about. We just, boom. It's organic as shit, bro. What are your thoughts? I'm not going to say expectations. What is your thoughts for yourself for this year? Not not expectations, because I feel like that limits you. I feel like that putting so a ceiling. Basing this on, we basing this on what we already have done? Yes. Uh, For me, it's... What you've already done and what you're currently doing, what do you think this year has in, in total for you? Uh, putting out more music for sure. Uh, more, you more, need detailed, to drop. more, more detailed music. Like, like uh, I've I've been dropping, you know, a lot of like, like, like depressed. Not not really. Oh yeah, depressing. Like it's it's like the life, uh, like the life, and and it's based on my past. I need to start making shit of of what I'm going through right now, which I'm I'm totally past like Dude. my depressive state stuff like that i'm i'm i i've been working on myself for about about six years now yeah and i feel like i'm in a just a a perfect spot mentally uh i can get there better physically of course mm -hmm. but mentally i feel like 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 i i have i don't really have any stress i, I don't have uh i really don't have any worries i like where i'm at right now now i just need to enhance my my living mm -hmm. and and just do what I need to do to keep paying these bills and slowly but surely get to where I'm going and and right now that's just trying to find a job that I love uh because right now I work at Coca-Cola and that that's not really the job for me but I'm paying my bills and I may go back to school for cybersecurity uh because starting off is like 50k uh but I'm not sure I'm still researching shit and and just doing this podcast, see what we can do with this podcast. And of course, I still put out my streaming stuff. I still do photography, so I got I got I got a lot going on, and I'm actually excited to see where everything uh flows through. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Isaiah, just talk to me, bro. And I just see growth, bro, in in all aspects, like. I mainly only talk about like entertainment a lot because that honestly is my whole life. But it's in general, me myself, I just see myself growing, uh, reaching more people, whether that be support wise, emotionally, entertainment wise, financial mm -hmm. wise, advisor wise. Just I see growth this year. Hell yeah! And yeah, we've been talking um on the slide for a grip now, bro. On like you know the Instagrams and shit like that. Just Basically, like creatively brainstorming, just just random ideas that could turn into some shit. And I definitely feel like this year, if not this year, this time next year, 
something crazy gonna happen for you specifically, bro. Because not even within you only drop ten nerdcore songs, and you got Game Boy Jones on comments, you got McGuire on comments, you got Daddy Fat Snaps commenting on your Instagram post and following you, bro. Daddy Fat Snaps, I react to Buddy ass on YouTube. He ain't never just shot it out me on Instagram or Twitter or anything, bro. Comedy on none of my shit, bro. So it's like, nigga, motion. Something's gonna happen. It's not me. It's not me to tell you what it is, bro. But I do believe. If you believe in any higher power, I'm not gonna put no specific religion or no specific god. If you believe in a higher power that is not just us, everything happens for a reason, and the higher power always controls when it's supposed to happen. They're not gonna give it to you when you want it. They're going to give it to you when you need it or when you deserve it, bro. Mm -hmm. So that's why I feel like if we, by this year, I'm going to do this, that puts too much limits on you, bro. Because then what happens if you don't do it? You're going to get depressed and shit. Right. Then your productivity is going to decrease tenfold, bro. Yeah, that, that that's just like, that's just like, you know, take like relationships, for example. It's like, it's like, ooh, I really want this, you know, girl to be, you know, my girlfriend and wife someday. But if you just take it one step at a time, be friends with her first and then girlfriend and then wife. If you take little jumps, you know, little steps here and there, you'll never disappoint yourself. True. But the relationship is that's it's it's like comedy. It's very much up to the person to determine how they view a relationship. We can have that a separate topic. That's a whole conversation in a quarter. Deal number three. <laughs> That's a hey, number three. Um, I see myself, bro, being more organized. Cause I I am very sporadic with the things that I do. Like obviously I work two jobs, then I also do YouTube, and you know what I'm saying. Like I record, I edit my own videos. That's just a lot of time, bro. And I got a whole relationship, so it's like that's only 24 hours in a day. But I'm working 27 hours in a day, if that makes any sense. Right. I'm spreading myself way too thin, doing everything that I enjoy doing, though. But I do think sometime this year, I'm going to get a break. I'm going to get a big break, get some recognition. This podcast going to pop off for surely. You know, I'm going to get a little bit more eyes than what I currently got. And people are going to take, you know, the content that I'm giving the people, like this podcast more serious to where I don't have to work the two jobs. I can actually take care of the things and the people that I care about. You know what I'm saying? Like, end of the day, our goal as human beings, bro, it, of course, we're going to say to be rich. But the ideal is really just to be comfortable. And then to be comfortable, you need an X amount of money. Because regardless, everybody's main stress is going to always be these bills. Regardless, it's going to be these bills. I got to pay this. What if... What if somebody in your family, I'm knocking on wood, but if something horrible, not like horrible, horrible, but like they need medic, medical conditions aren't cheap. Let me put it this way. If you got to go to the hospital, if you're taking the ambulance, bro, that's $500 guaranteed spent. Right. If, if you got an x-ray, it was like 1200 It could be now. Inflation a motherfucker. But if you got an x-ray, oh, 10 bands now, for sure. You know what I'm saying? Bro, you can, can say, can, go ahead, my bad. No, no, I was just gonna say I can speak on this personally because I have four iliac stents and then a and then a fem fem bypass, Damn. and I have to take blood thinners, uh, once a day. Yeah. So, so, bro, I, I already know. You know what I'm saying? But like the goal for people, bro, this is at least what I'm seeing it because people are literally chasing a bag because it's like they're too more inf infatuated with what they see in social media type shit. But everybody simply are just chasing the same dream. We all just want to want to be comfortable. We want to wake up and like, oh, car note, okay, house note, okay. Oh, mama, yeah. you need you need you need five thousand. Here you go. Oh, you want to take a vacation? Sure. It's not saying like we can just drop a bag anytime that we want to, but we got it if we need to have it. You know what I'm saying? Comfortability, bro. If, if bro. It, That's all it is. I'm being, if I'm being honest with y'all and, and everybody that's listening to this, bro, like I'm 30 years old, like, and this goes back to when we were talking about like school and financial stuff like that. And this is also my fault too. Like, like I, I a hundred percent, you know, this is 
hundred percent me. Like I'm bad with money. My bank account has never seen over five thousand dollars. So I but mean, if you, that, that's, if you on the bigger scale of things, bro, there's people's bank account who's never seen over five hundred dollars. Yeah, so, true, very true. I'm gonna leave everybody on this note. It's gonna sound kind of negative, but you gotta hear it in a positive in a positive light, bro. We are just one pebble in the ocean that is called the fucking world. Whatever problem that we are individually going through, we control how we go through that. The rest of the world do not care. The only time the world stopped is when the entire world was infected by the fucking virus and we had no choice but to sit our fucking ass down. Other than that, bro, I can catch a leg cramp right now. You watching, it does not affect you. I'm in pain. You don't care. You know what I'm saying? We got to be able to control what we can what we can control and things that are out of our uh, grasp, out of our reach, or simply above us, bro. We got to let that shit fucking go. There's nothing we can do about it. You know what I'm saying? End of the day, just try to learn from the shit. Every loss is a lesson. Every lesson isn't a loss. Let write that down. That's a bar. Just like, right. just like... Finding Nemo, just keep swimming. Just keep swimming. Literally, just keep swimming, bro. Don't kill yourself. Don't kill yourself in the in the in the in the, in the breaststroke, though. Because end of the day, killing yourself over something that's a hobby, that's not paying bills, isn't worth killing yourself over. I can give y'all a video a day. I'm only gonna sleep one hour a day, though. Fuck that. You're gonna get maybe two videos a week. On top of my two streams. Mm -hmm. I'm still doing more than what your average person is doing. I'm working two jobs and doing this. Everybody in this podcast. All got things going on. Multi Azazes has three channels. Did you know that? I'm going to need y'all to go follow Azazes. Planet Azazes. And D3K Universe. Because you ain't know about those. You're welcome. It's some heat. Sir. On top of following his music on Spotify, Apple Music, uh, 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 SoundCloud, Amazon Music, Zune. You didn't even know niggas still had Zune. I'm on you, boy. And we got a fr and we got a line wire link. Come fuck with us. Part. <laughs> okay, I'll see anything you want to leave. Line, line wire, Jesus Christ. Oh no, no, no. You 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 said you know just keep swimming with the breaststroke, bro. I'm doggy paddling this shit, all right? I ain't gonna lie to you. I got a flotation device, boy. <laughs> oh, and one thing we forgot to plug, Chaosity, aka Ill Chaos, is also now officially on Spotify. Yeah. Check out that EP. Yeah. Get that, get that applause, Toasty. It's the crazy part. I, I, fuck, I fucked up so bad that I switched scenes, bro. <laughs> like, oh, I went from my YouTube setup, Straight into the stream setup. So that whole part gonna be fucked up, bro. For your applause, that's crazy. Hey, that's that's fine. That's fine. We just gonna plug a picture of him right there. <laughs> it's, gonna, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a JPEG of me just standing still. <laughs> Don't fuck it, dude. All right, y'all. Right, we I think we done went over the time. We done went over the time. You know, but it be like that. I feel like this was way better than um the first part. Oh, Progression, bro. Yes, sir. Other than that, man, we gonna catch y'all in the next one. Make sure y'all leave a comment. If there's any topics you want us to talk about, bro, drop it down below. Let us know. You can hit Azazes on his on his Twitter. He's verified. You know, Instagram verified. Facebook verified. You can hit me on uh, 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 Twitter if you want to. Mostly Instagram if you want to. You know what I'm saying? It's a crit. Azazes. And like, comment, subscribe, all that. Follow all of us, all that. Let us know what we should be talking about, all that. Yeah, yeah. Curiosity, before we, we're going to dip it up one more time. Talk to him. You can just say raggedy bitch if you want to. Yeah, go follow me on uh, Insta, Ghost of Chaos. And my Twitter is Chaosity. And yeah. that's and just my Spotify is Ill Chaos. I L L K A O S. Hell yeah. Like that, bro. You go. Hey.